Okay, so let's talk about base specializations. Okay, so when you're creating a new base, um, obviously the first thing you want to do is factor in you know, where it's going to be. Um, you just want to cover the main areas, you know, the main countries and the what countries that give good funding, like the USA and um, you know Asia and all that jazz. But that's another story. What we're going to talk about is base specializations, where when you create a base, you want it to specialize in something. Now, um, the reason for this is, is it's quite simple. Um, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, and um, it's just easier to kind of micromanage everything when everything's kind of uh, you know, specialized, and you can name the base whatever you, whatever you want to what it specializes to. <clears throat> okay, so there's five different types of things bases you can specialize in. Um, well, six if you include the HQ, where the HQ, your know, first base kind of you know, has a bit of everything naturally, uh, kind of forced into it at the start of the game. Um, every other base after that should specialize in one, maybe two things at most. Um, so the things that we want to do is, or the types of bases rather, is the first one is, is, is like a lab. Um, I normally just incorporate this into my main base where you have, it specializes in, in research. Um, you want to have 50 to 100 scientists. Uh, I'd recommend 100 scientists to get good results uh, in this base. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all. It's, its purpose is just the research. Most people will just put it in their, in their starting base like I've done. The second type of um, base you can make is a, is a workshop um, where it specializes in ma manufacturing things. Um, what I like to do is, it, well, as you can see here, uh, this is soon to become a workshop. I'm building three right here. Uh, and then of course you just have the living quarters to um, hold, hold those technicians. What I like to do is I like to have two or three workshops in my starting base. And then in another base, a bit later down the track, I like to create a specialized base for manufacturing, where I put three to five workshops, and what they'll be doing is they'll be building, they'll be building everything that you need. You know, every time you need to stock up an ammo, armor, crafts, build crafts really quickly. Um, you, know, you can have you know 100 plus technicians, and they'll create it in no time. Just be sure to use the um, the transfer end of the month trick so that you're not paying for their salaries as well. Um, one good thing about having a, a couple of workshops in your HQ and then your manufacturing base is you can kind of transfer, at the end of the month, you can kind of transfer the technicians between those two bases so that you don't have to swap them twice and you can just use the technicians that you transferred over. Um, not sure if that makes much sense, but uh, it, it kind of works out, uh, just, just believe me there. So another type of base that you can create is an MC base. We specializes in creating, um, well, basically you just hire lots of Aquanauts, you know, I'd say 30 to 50 every month, and their sole purpose is just to, um, you know, nick and pick the highly specialized MC people. Um, this is a bit of an investment because you know it takes months and months to you know build the MC labs and then you know, study them and then pick out all the crappy ones and sell them uh, and then basically you just choose unless you get really lucky you just choose the um, high MC guys you know I'd say depending on what you're looking for I'd say 70 plus is worth keeping of MC strength um, and yeah, just once you've once you've got the good ones, you sack all the crappy ones and um, send the good ones over back to your main HQ for to train them up and start getting them ranks. The final type of base you can get is the interceptor base slash sonar detector. Um, their purpose is just it's quite simple. Um, you put a transmission resolver or you know wide array or standard sonar whatever you you have available to you at the time that plus the general stores, plus a couple of subpins. All they do is just they intercept. 
um, for these types of bases, or basically any base which it intercepts and has a detector, you need guards in them because these are the bases that will attract the most alien um, attention and they will most probably get attacked in the future. So make sure to keep a couple of guards there um, to stick around and, and guard the place. Um, and yeah, um, like I mentioned before, um, you can mix and match things. Like you can have a, a base which does intercepting and a workshop, like this base here. And you can have you know an MC base plus an interceptor. Um, uh, basically, every, all my bases, they'll all have interceptors, so they'll all have guards in them. Um, it, it, you know, you can customize it to your liking, but just make sure that you stick the guards in the places that you have interceptors.